Hello, everyone. Welcome to the small presentation of our offer for libraries. So I will briefly present you our offer for public libraries or academic institutions, uh, our content and some of our partners around the world, and our subscription model as well. So to start off, uh, we first started in 2008 with one goal, which is making classical music available to as many people as possible. And this is why uh, about 15 years ago, we launched our offer for institutions, which I will present to you now. So we are a pure VOD player. So this uh, includes a full catalog of 4,000 films, including concerts, operas, ballets, documentaries, masterclasses, um, film from the 1940s up to present day with live events as well, which I will present to you uh, right after this. Uh, we add around 200 new programs each year to our catalog. And uh, we also have in-depth editorial content uh, with synopsis, cast lists, and performer biographies that our editorial team uh, realizes for us. We also broadcast over 150 live events every year from the world's most prestigious concert halls, opera houses, festivals, and, ball and uh, competitions. Um, and every live event we, we have is available for at least 90 days after the live uh, event was broadcasted. And it's uh, available as a replay and about two thirds of it uh, ends up entering our catalog in the end. So as you can see, we have many partners around the world, uh, starting with uh, concert venues such as Carnegie Hall, uh, the National Operas of France in Paris, the Kennedy Center, and also many orchestras, uh, such as the Montreal Symphonic uh, Orchestra or uh, the Berliner Philharmonica. We also recently added a jazz option to our offer with a catalog of more than 500 films of pure jazz, which makes it the largest catalog available from the same pl platform that you can get your classical music content as well. This includes concerts, unforgettable archival performances and insightful documentaries on musicians, uh, which will allow you and your users to explore many facets of the jazz throughout the different sub genres uh, we have to offer and again it's all among the one plat the, the same platform as our classical music content so our offer for libraries is simple uh, we have an annual or multi-year subscription if this is something uh, you can do we have a fixed upfront fee uh, based on the size of your institution, uh, which means that you will not get any surprises, and we know that can be important for some libraries. Uh, we offer unlimited multi-user access, both from uh, the sites of the library or remotely, uh, thanks to our ten, more than 10 authentication solutions available including IP addresses, Easy Proxy, Shibboleth, Open Athens, um, no, library card number, etc. So we have many authentication solutions available for you, both from for your on-site uh, access and your remote access as well. We also provide mark records powered by OCLC, including the subscription price. Uh, we can send you promotional material including posters, bookmarks uh, for display in the library, but also in a digital form for your social media or your library portal, for example. We send you a weekly newsletter highlighting the new releases in our catalog and the live events to come. Uh, this is something you can share or that your subscribers can um, choose to opt in uh, if they want to receive all the news about the catalog and the live events to come. 
And we also provide usage statistics with the number of views, the average duration of visits, uh, and the top 10 or 15 movies viewed. And we can provide that monthly or every six months or pretty much uh, how uh, you want to, how often you want to receive them. This is the address you can write to in case uh, you have a problem or a question about our offer for libraries. Thank you very much. And now I will get on to the platform to have a quick demo of what our platform actually looks like and how it works. So here we are on the home page of uh, Medici TV for libraries. As you can see, uh, there's always a small suggestion here of uh, uh, some of our catalog pieces or here a live performance. Uh, here above you have all the categories, as I said, concerts, operas, ballets, documentaries, masterclasses, and the uh, jazz. And here is a special category because we uh, are currently having um, a partnership with the Vienna Philharmonic. And here above is a tagline uh, that will mention that the service is provided by, and here will be the name of your institution. And here is the part where it is now possible to have a personal space, um, an individual account uh, for any of your library users. You have uh, some of our partners, some of our highlights. So here it's the Vienna, Vienna Philharmonic. Down there is the calendar for the upcoming live events and the new releases as well for our catalog. Um, so this is very useful to be able to not miss a single live event on our platform, especially thanks to the little bell that you can click on here to have the reminder. I actually want to watch this. And here I just have to enter my email address and send it to myself, and this will set up a reminder for myself. And down uh, in the site, you can find some highlights um, on some artists, sometimes some composers, some uh, venues, etc. So you can find some of our highlights that are uh, very often updated by, by our um, editorial team. Now, let's say we go to a category. Uh, let's say I want to see an opera. I just go here. This is the operas page. And as you can see, you will still have access, uh, an easy access to the other categories down there with the images that go with them. Here you have all of our filters section. So I can select any composer, let's say Verdi or Mozart um, or Wagner. You can select by performer, by period, of course, contemporary or romantic or Baroque. And of course, if there are subtitles, so as you can see, we have many subtitles for pretty much uh, all, almost all of our operas that are available. So many subtitles in many languages are available. So here, let's say I want to see something by uh, Giuseppe Verdi. I can just filter here. And here we are with uh, some of our operas. So let's say we go here. And this is a movie page. Movie launches automatically, of course. I will just cut the sound. Um, here you will have the program on the right. So let's say you want to jump to a certain movement or a scene of the opera. You just have to click on it, and there we go. And of course, you can also see the chapters right here. Here you will have the options for the um, quality of the video. So my connection right now only allows for uh, 720p. But let's say I want to go to uh, 1080p. I just click here, and there we go. And this is also where you'll find uh, the option for subtitles, closed captions, and you will also have it here. So uh, let's set it up in English. And as you can see, you will have the subtitles uh, right here. 
And if you go under, the movie still goes on uh, right here, which is quite handy if you want to read the information about the movie you're watching, but still not miss anything about it. Uh, so here you will have, of course, the cast list in detail, the program notes, and after that you have some links to uh, the, the performers, the composer, and uh, everything, and of course the playlists that you can find as well. And finally, on this movie page, I will just close this, uh, you will also have our recommendations. So let's say you like this opera piece and this performance. You can also like uh, this, this or that. Of course, we have a lot more recommendations for you. So this way, your users can just uh, discover so many performances and in so many different venues. But as uh, we often say, I think the best is often to um, have some practice yourself. And this is why if you want to have a trial of our platform, we can set it up very easily for you. Uh, so we can do that via IP address or easy proxy. As I mentioned, we have many authentication solutions available. We can also set up a passcode that you can share with your colleagues if you think uh, it would be better for you to just have it restrained to the library staff and not to all the library users. So thank you very much. And uh, I hope you will want to trial our platform. And um, yeah, I hope you'll enjoy it. Thank you very much.